morning student welcome to gyan jyoti online classes classes class 8 and today i shall continue grammar and here i have to discuss uh, previously i have told you sentence and i have to discuss three things about sentence sentence four types of slide assertive negative interrogative and exclamatory sentence yeah these are the these are the other different types just like i like chocolate okay negative i don't like chocolate and interrogative do i like chocolate and if i make exclamatory how i how chocolate i like in this way we can we can make different types of sentence once sentence in different moods also you can say just like you know how about it is in exclamation but you have to make an accent in your position it is on first then how is very far and the sign will be uh, just uh, small one it will be exclamation sign here so exclamation can be changed into accent you can practice it you can do it okay student this thing i have to say so today i shall continue nouns Okay, very important parts of speech of the English grammar out of nine parts of speech. And here, now first you have to know noun means noun is a word that names a person, place, animal, things, quality of things. So here, one, two, three, four, and five. Five types of nouns we have to discuss here. So it is classified as a five types, just like. Uh, proper noun, then comes common noun, then collective noun, then abstract noun, and last one is material material noun. So you have to know proper proper noun. You should know uh, denotes a pro particular person, place, day, or thing. Just like my name, Sunil sir. Just like student, your name. Not only is your name, but the name of the building, uh, name of uh, a uh, day name of thing name of anything okay so that is proper noun common noun uh, denotes a person place or activity of things in general common means general just like uh, so i am a teacher okay so here i am a human yeah this is general suppose you are your name is ram and sita okay but you were a student yeah we are talking about this common means general talking yeah just like dress badge park badminton etc many many examples we can produce by using this common noun it's clear next point a collective noun a collective noun denotes a collection of people animal or thing many many examples are there in exercises you have to practice it just like swarm of bee bunch of flower a bouquet of flower or we can say uh, uh, a class of student there are many many examples are there for the collective nouns group of the nouns together we speak it's okay then from the abstract noun uh, donors a quality or a state of being quality the quality or state of feeling that now we can uh, touch or you can feel this now cannot be touch okay but you can feel just like honesty law hatred uh, many many examples spirituality philosophy wickedness these are the examples of abstract noun that can be felt but that cannot be touched that is difference between uh, the Three nouns can be uh, touched, but this one, four nouns, cannot be touched. Okay, then the special noun you can understand. The last one is the fifth one noun. Material, all the material you can see. Suppose I say this is a chalk, huh? This is a pen. All the material, household items uh, that comes under material noun. All the material of the uh, what is available we can see here and there. So students. Uh, all this thing what i discuss i hope that we shall practice by exercise 
exercise and whatever I have discussed, I hope you have understood. Okay. Students, look at the blank. Abstract nouns can be formed from adjectives, verbs, as well as from common nouns by adding suffix. Yeah. Just like this sweet is an adjective. Okay. But by using suffix less. Yeah, this sweet is an adjective. By adding less, it became abstract noun. Yeah, sweet adjective by using less became abstract noun. This adjective move, move is uh, verb. Yeah, I move from here to there. Move is verb, okay. But by adding a man, any adjective, man. So this man is a verb. By adding man. Movement will be an abstract noun. Child is a common noun. Okay. By adding as suffix could child will be an abstract noun. Yeah. It's clear. Just like uh, Alok is a sweet boy, a sweet person. Everyone chants by his sweetness. Or Alok is a sweet girl. Everyone is charmed by her sweetness. Sweet adjective but sweetness abstract noun. Yes. Don't move. Don't move. This is a verb. Yeah. Your movement will disturb the butterfly. Your movement. Movement is now abstract noun. Movement abstract noun. Child. The swimming pool is deep. Oh, sorry. When I see the child, yeah, this verb. I remember my childhood is abstract now. I remember my childhood. The abstract now. Feelings we can feel on. So these are all the abstract nouns you have to know by practicing more and more. Next point we shall discuss about the gender. Now gender can be four types here. You can see in the blackboard. The first one is masculine, the second one is feminine, the neutral and common. The four types of gender we'll discuss. Masculine is all of the male person, just all the person or animal. Hmm? These are for male person, just like man, tiger, lion. Yeah, you can bring many many examples. Father. Yes, these are all comes from the masculine. That comes feminine means it's opposite gender. Man, woman, tiger, tigress, lion, lioness. Yeah, then pick up pea hen. We can bring many many examples for gender. Neuter gender, you have to know this point. Uh, even now refers to things that are neither male nor female. Yeah. Usually non-living things said it is said to be the neuter gender. Non-living things. Neither male nor female. And it is said to be the uh, neuter gender. Uh, neuter gender just like grass. Neither male or nor female. Yeah? The wood, neither male or female. We can say sand, neither male or female. So it is not classified with any male or female ground, that's why it is neutral. Yeah, neutral means not both the sides telling. Then comes common noun. If you know that suppose I say student or listen, at the time I say all the boys and girls. Yeah, including boys and girls, means male and female together. Yeah? That is common. And common a noun is in the common gender if it refers to what can be male or female okay both the part party yeah teacher suppose teachers here are teaching you they may be the female teacher maybe male teacher that's why they are uh, common baby baby may be the boy and uh, masculine maybe feminine maybe boy and baby maybe girl so we say baby means both the party uh, both the male and female that's why that's common Clear of gender, four times it is classified. All clear. Let's see about the this noun. Can be singular, may plural. As you see, just like singular boy, plural boys. Just lion, lioness, yeah, so lions. Box, boxes. So here, as we discuss about the number or singular or plural, we have to discuss uh, the rules. How you have to use plurals. You have to know some techniques then your grammatical error may be corrected. Okay? 
So students, let's see here rules. By adding s, where there is the uh, ending in s, c h s or s h. We all can use e s by adding s or e s. Just like text. X here, X says ES. Just like watch CH, watch is ES. Uh, how about any guess? S, last ending S, and here guess is. This SH, SH ES. Yeah, in plural form, you have to use practice it. If you need more practice, then you will do more. By changing Y into I and adding. Uh, by ending in X, ending is only Y. Just ending in Y, you have to got it and you have to write I. Then ES. Story means you have to got Y here and you have to write I. Then ES. In this way, you have to make singular to plural. It's clear? By adding S. A simple day days. Monkey, monkeys. Okay, it's clear. So, <coughs> by adding S, ending in Y. Okay, it's very simple. By adding S, ending in I, E, O, O, then E, O, then O. Just you have to use S to tie ties, to put tools, video videos, hello, 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 hello. You can make this type. Hello, hello. Video videos, tools. Hi guys. You can know the rules. My adding E S. Ending F or F E. Yeah? Nine. Nice. Just like K L I E S. C L I E S. And you have to remove this. F L F U F and you have to use VS VS life knives. Yes, student. So one more is by adding S to some nouns ending in F. Just like roof, roofs. Please, please, you don't say R O L V S or C L I F V S. That is wrong. Do this. Just like knife, can I F V S? Can I F can I be yes? A roof? Roofs. Roofs, roofs. There are the differences between knife and roof. Okay? You should know the roofs and practice more about this single rule. Next come to compound noun. So com compound is proper and common nouns are made up of more than one word. They are called compound. One is one, two, two. Two words together. Okay. They are like some two. Some also two. Two words together. Too many, many words we can. Say, for example, uh, new shaper, passport, etc. These are all compound nouns. You understand? <coughs> so, student, uh, one point I have to tell some nouns, both plural, singular, and plural, also same. Just like deer, aircraft. Yeah? And some of the nouns have uh, uh, just like. Uh, as exceptions, just like child, children, mice, mouse, mice. Yeah, these are the, some of the exceptions you have to know. So about the compound now, let's try to know how it becomes plural by adding s to plural form. Just like father-in-law, in plural form, father-in-law, father, fathers. It can be used like stepdaughters, stepdaughters. Our next point, some words are used only in the singular form. These compounds are in singular forms. Just like poetry, information, furniture, advice, yeah, meaning, arms. These are the words always in singular form. It's clear? Next point, nouns that have two similar parts, just like uh, uh, trousers, then 
seizures. These are the two parts, but telling about the one thing. That's why that cannot can be uh, considered to be plural noun, but they are two similar parts that taken together as considered to be the plural nouns. But one, okay. It's clear socks. Either two socks, but you have to wear one person. That can be taken as the plural. It's clear. Next point. <coughs> A specific quantity, uh, though it is plural, plural but you have to use it singular. It is like 31 rupees. Rupees is plural, but it is specific quantity. That's why 31 rupees we have to consider it is as a specific quantity. Then, last point about this uh, Latin words. Some of words have been taken from uh, Latin language. And they are just like uh, circus, campus, virus. Yeah? Now, many many virus, now coronavirus. Virus also what is coming. So, how can we do plural? By adding US. Yeah? Just like US. Circus, campus, virus. These are all of US. This type of Latin word. This virus word is come from Latin. Okay? So, you have to use plural by using ES. Yeah, and it is clear to understand how it is changing from singular to plural. So look at this blackboard and understand from Latin to English. There are some similar words. How it is using plural in uh, English? Yeah, Latin words. Just like larva, plural larva. This extra is used. Bacterium. This plural form is bacteria. Yeah. When we say bacteria means the plural form. Okay. Axis and axis. Yeah, axis singular, axis plural. Okay. Curriculum, curricula. And something is changing. So let's see. Basis, basis. S I S S E S. Alumin Alumnus. Alumnus. Alumnus this is. And alumni. Stimulus, stimuli. It's clear. Many words like from singular uh, words. In English, something plural, and Latin, something plural differences. You have to know, just like cactus. In English, cactus says, yes, yes. But in Latin plural, cacti. This Latin word, cactus. In Latin plural, cacti, but in English plural, cactus says. Suppose someone writing cacti also, according to Latin word, you have no problem, grammatically we don't count. It's okay. It's a radius in geometry, radius what is used? Radius is, but someone writing ready, that is also plural form, R-A-D-I, ready. That is writing the plural form, syllabus, syllabus is, yes, yes. But in Latin, plural writing syllabi, B-I, that is a difference. Many many words you have given index, indexes, indexi, Anti, antenna, antennas, antennae, millennium, millennials, millennia in Latin, gymnasium, gymnasiums, gymnasia in Latin. It's clear. So from some words taken from French language, singular to plural and French language how is Just like bureau, bureaus, and bureaux. X, 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 U, U, uh, French plural, but English something S only. In English S, but in French X. Plateau, Plateus, Plateus, and Platics. Just these are the differences of singular from singular to plural according to the language. Like in Latin, like in French, something different. In English, you have to know some language or borrow from different, different foreign language. That's why these are some these are something different, different. So I hope you this chapter read well, practice it, and hope you that you will success. Be thankful. Okay. Goodbye.